Let's make a delicious turkey burger. Healthy meals have been highly requested on the channel ever since I mentioned about my weight loss, 122 kg down to currently 84. People have been asking me what kind of meals have I been eating throughout my journey. Now while these meals alone aren't going to make you lose weight, you know, I'm not going to go into all that right now, <laughs> um, they are damn tasty, generally quite low calorie and they hit the spot, it's kind of like I like to eat bulk and I like to eat things that remind me of things that are unhealthy. So a turkey burger is perfect because I believe this recipe should be about under 600 calories, but it's gonna give you the full whack of a beef burger. We're gonna put a quack in there. We're gonna do some nice charred onions and then we're gonna spice that patty up and melt some cheese on there. Boom. It's gonna be damn good. Okay, peeps, I messed up on this recipe, but I'm gonna cover it all in the voiceover. So let's get into the recipe. To kick things off, we're going to need to take one small red onion, unprepped weight, about 85 grams, and then we're just going to peel and roughly dice that bad boy up. Once it's diced, we're just going to run a knife through it, as you're seeing here in the video, for about two minutes. I just want to say that these tomatoes were... Smell incredible because they're really nice, high quality tomatoes. The better quality tomatoes you get, the better this guac's going to taste. Keep that in mind. You're then going to take 110 grams of high quality cherry tomatoes and cut them into quarters. You're then going to run your knife through it, very similar to the onion, just do this nice and slow, and you're just going to continue doing this for two to three minutes until you have somewhat of a nice, fine dice. What I meant to do was make a two times recipe. Um, I didn't have quite enough avocado, so I thought I'd get away with it. Um, but turns out that uh, I didn't times my avocados by two in my calculations. So I was doing a two times recipe with half the amount of avocados. I didn't have enough for a one times recipe. So it, it just didn't work out. And um, we've rectified the mistake and we're gonna cover it all as we go through the video. Uh, but just know when you're adding the avocados, there will be more avocados than what I added. Looked a bit funny to start, but luckily it will come out just perfect. So grab yourself three ripe avocados and then we're going to de-seed them. To do that you're just going to run the knife around the centre lengthways on the avocado just like you see in here and then you're going to grab those halves and twist them. The avocado should come in half and then just grab your knife and you're gonna, kind of going to dink it into the stone, twist and then that's your avocado de-seeded. Grab yourself a spoon and scoop out the avocado flesh. Should be nice and simple if the avocados are ripe. So we're just going to roughly dice them bad boys up and then mix them through with the onion and tomato, much like we did before when we added the tomatoes to the onion. We're just going to run a knife through this until we have a beautiful looking guac. Now what you see here is just me rectifying the mistake of not putting enough avocados into my guac to start with. So I'm just puring them up with my knife and then I'm going to add them back to my uh, existing mix. So now I've actually got the right amount of avocado. All of the onion and tomato mix that I made earlier, I'm just gonna mix it all together and then we'll actually have the proper guac. And then we're gonna season that with some lemon juice, salt, pepper and garlic, olive oil, all to taste. And um, that's gonna be the guac done. But uh, let's run you through that right now. Season to taste with some flaky salt and some freshly ground black pepper. You also want to mince in one clove of garlic at this stage. I totally forgot to film me doing that. You're also going to go in with the juice from half of a lemon, about two tablespoons of olive oil. Give that all a good old mix together and that will be your guacamole done. All right, there we go. Now that looks better, doesn't it? It actually looks like guacamole now. Hell yeah, let's get on to making the turkey burgers. Throw 500 grams of 7% fat turkey mince into a bowl and then you're going to throw in one tablespoon of dried oregano, one tablespoon of garlic salt and one tablespoon of smoked paprika. Give all of that a good old mix together until everything is thoroughly combined. Once everything is combined, we are going to get over to weighing this. What I'm going to do is weigh 80 gram portions or balls and I'm going to put two 80 gram balls in each burger. So that's 160 grams per burger. 
Now, before we cook these, let's prepare some onion. What you want to do is grab yourself one large white onion and you're gonna peel the skin off, leaving the entire onion intact. You don't wanna cut this in half or anything. Um, what we're gonna do with this is cut the onion into kind of onion ring shapes. We want half an inch thick kind of wedges and we'll leave them completely intact. What you're gonna do with them is cover them with a little bit of olive oil, a nice pinch of flaky salt, a crack of fresh black pepper, and then just leave them to one side until we get to cooking. Grab yourself a char grill pan and turn that onto a high heat. Once it comes up to temperature, it's time to start cooking. So grab two of your um, turkey mince balls and you're gonna form them into a patty shape and place them into the raging hot cast iron pan also along with one of the onions seasoning side down. You're gonna let this sit for about two minutes before flipping, you just have some beautiful, nice char grill marks on there. You're then going to hit that with two slices of extra mature cheddar or whatever cheese you fancy. And then after you've cheesed your patties, we are going to flip over the onion and just have a nice amount of caramelization. Now just pop a lid on top, or if you've got a blowtorch, you're just gonna blowtorch the cheese until it is completely melted. You wanna cook these until they reach an internal temperature of 75 degrees plus. That's quite important with turkey mince. You want it to be cooked through. After about three minutes and your patties are cooked, you're just gonna stack it up going patty, onion patty and then you're going to remove that from the pan leave the pan on the heat because now we're going to toast our bun cut your bun in half and just toast it for about a minute you want the bun to get nice and toasted and become super light and fluffy after that we're just going to assemble our burger to assemble it you're just going to put one tablespoon of guac on the bottom layer of the burger followed by your patties if you want to put some lettuce or something in pop it down on the bottom and right there and then um, you could also maybe put some tomato in this, that would also be delicious. I'm just going plain Jane simple. You're then going to put a tablespoon of guac on the top bun as well, and then just chuck that on top, and that's your burger ready. God damn. We got there in the end. Beautiful turkey burger, you can see the guac in there. The patties with the cheese on, that onion which is gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna be like caramelized and slightly cooked but still raw and crunchy in a weird way to describe it. Don't know what I'm saying, making words up. I'm gonna dig in. Um, in terms of like macros, this thing um, come out at about 670 calories, which is really good, actually. I think that's great. Let's just eat it. Oh man, that's delicious. It's really fresh and light and the, 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 the guac is just like adding a whack of flavor and then the crunch from the onion, adding like a cleanness and then the spices in the, in the patty. That is a hefty meal as well. And it's full of so much goodness. All those fats in there are super, super good for you. You know, the the uh, the protein from the turkey mince. This kind of meal is gonna keep you really full. There's very little carbohydrate. It's high in protein and high in fat, which is what you want when you're trying to lose weight because that keeps you fuller for longer. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video. If you have, drop it like, subscribe to see future content and leave a comment for anything you want me to make in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one.